So I'm going to show you just how easy creating these fancy calculators is, because no matter what industry you're in, there might be some kind of simple calculator that would really benefit your audience that would help you get leads or just get more visitors coming to your website. For instance, we've got, as an example, we've got some real estate agents using Techmatics, and they've created a calculator where people can work out what their approximate loaning rate would be for a mortgage based on the income that they're earning in their household right so it could be for you what other kind of calculator is it a numerology thing is it an astrology thing is it a financial thing is it putting in I don't know maybe the amount of hours they spend per week doing exercise equals how fast it might take them to lose a certain number of kilos or pounds if you're doing weight loss planning for instance so these are all the kinds of exciting ways you might use a calculator and I'm going to show you how you can look like the most techiest tech ninja on planet earth without actually having a clue what you're doing and you can just show off to all your friends about how amazing you are so let me show you the finished result as always remember when we're teaching we show the finished result first so Lorna said I want to create a calculator for numerology and this is basically a very plain I've not made this pretty or anything but you can see here I've actually put in my particular birth so my day of birth is the first of December and the current year is 2024 calculate boom, it now tells me what my current numerology year is the year number three in numerology. How exciting is this? Now, this is literally a tiny little bit of what's called, don't freak out, HTML code. But you will be excited to know that ChatGPT can give you this. <laughs> All this is a funnel page on Techmatics. See here, calculate your numerology year. Now I could have added in, like anything, a whole bunch of, I could add in videos, I could add in images, I could actually design this whole page to look beautiful. Obviously I've not done that, but let's just put a couple of images here just to show you an example of how we could have made this prettier. We could put in, for instance, some instructions to the people if we wanted to. Image options. There we go. So there's, a, there's just an image I'm just going to pick for an example here. But again, we could have put in some text, drag and drop our text section over here. Da -da. So again, I could pop in blah, 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 put in loads of writing. There's the calculator. Now, how do we put this calculator Cody bit in? All you would do is go to elements and find the code element. You just drag and drop this code element over. And here is where you paste your code for your calculator. Now, how do you get the code for your calculator? Our old beautiful friend, ChatGPT. So all I typed in to ChatGPT was, I want to create a simple calculator that calculates somebody's personal numerology year. How do I do that? Boom, it gives me the whole code that you just copied and pasted right here. Done. So I'm now going to show you another example because I want to create a calculator for you guys to use regarding how, how many people you need to get in front of per year in order to reach your revenue goals. So I'm going to take you right to the very, very beginning here. We're going to click on websites and funnels and we're going to make our calculator on a funnel page. So let's go into websites and funnels, click on funnels, create a new funnel. Now, of course, you could create one from scratch. You should use templates. You might be duplicating one of your existing funnels that you've got already. Now, I'm just going to create one from scratch just to show you how simple it is to do it from zero. So the funnel name is going to be Sarah's Target Customer. Oh, a calculator. <laughs> let's call it that. Sarah's Target Customer Calculator. Create. So all I've written, I've pre-written this down so you'd have to watch me type it all up to the funnel building page. I'm going to add my first page into this funnel, which again is going to be Sarah's calculator and the path means what do you want the URL to be? So mine would just simply be something like forward slash customer calculator. I can change that later. So don't ever worry about this bit too much. We're just going to press create the funnel step. And now we're going to be able to build this page that our calculator is going to be embedded in. So I could use an existing page or I can just create one completely from blank. Okay, so I'm just going to pull in a full width section and a single column and add a heading. Then I can simply add in a little bit of subheading over here and call this Sarah's customer calculator. 
All right, I can add in a little bit more text here in paragraph, just saying this explains what this is all about, la di la, okay? And then finally, we're gonna add in our code. So we're gonna press add a section, add a code section, which for now, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna go to chat GPT and open up a whole new chat over here. Then we're going to paste in our question. So this is my question to ChatGPT. I want to make a calculator that will calculate how many people in their target audience, sorry, how many people in their target audience a business owner must get in front of in order to reach their target annual revenue. I've told them what math I want it to do, and I'll be creating this calculator on a funnel page in Techmatics. Please provide the HTML JavaScript code. That's all we're asking it to do. We're going to tell it what we want to create. Please give me a calculator in HTML JavaScript code. See what the prompt is here? Okay, it's now gonna work out what it thinks the calculation is. All looks a bit techy, doesn't it? Lovely jubbly. Okay, we can simply gonna press copy and go back to our page builder, click on the HTML JavaScript box, open the code editor, paste in the code it's given us and press save. Now you're not going to see anything pop up here. We have to first of all press save. I'm not going to update any of the metadata for now. I'm just saving this page. And then we're going to preview the page. We have to actually preview it to be able to see what's happened here. So I'm going to press the eyeball on the top right hand corner and cross fingers. <laughs> Ta-da! It's now created this table. So let's enter the price of my product. Let's pretend I sell a product that's $150. Maybe my, it's a course. And let's say I wanna make $1 million. One, two, three. I always have to calculate them. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Expected conversion rate. Let's pretend I know that my conversion rates, I don't know, 13%. Calculate. Boom, to reach your target revenue of $1 million, you need approximately 6,667 sales. Given a conversion rate of 13%, you need to get in front of 4,724 people per month. <laughs> Woohoo! Isn't that sexy? So now, what can I do with this? I could literally use this as a way to get customers. What I could do is I could have an opt-in form before this. I send people to the opt-in form saying, get your free calculator. And they enter their email address and then they get emailed the link to this page. Maybe I just give it away for free and I simply am going to do ads that are tracking people that visit this page. There's a million reasons why you might use this. You might reserve this as a page link that you only give to your members or your course student members whatever you decide to do with it obviously the possibilities are endless but i want you to see there how quickly and easily we were able to create a super sexy calculator that in some way is going to serve us for lead generation or is going to serve us for giving to our customers and serving our community